A new report from New York Magazine reveals that the Obama administration had a secret plan in place prior to the 2016 election. They feared that President Trump, if he lost, would not accept the results of that election. And so the administration plotted with several Republicans to, quote, validate the results and ensure an orderly transition of power. They also had another plan in case then-candidate Trump disputed the results. They were going to whip out members of the so-called intelligence community to claim that Russia had weighed in on his behalf and therefore make his claims to victory seem less legitimate. Of course, in the end, he won, but they kept telling that story anyway. Russia, Russia, Russia. The point is, they've been planning that for a long time. Author and columnist Mark Stein joins us tonight to assess what this means. Mark, great to see you. So we learned hey, that the you, whole Trump campaign wasn't legitimate because really Putin was running it. This was mm. a storyline that was already like ready to go before anyone voted. Yes, I think what they're trying to do here, Tucker, is to reverse engineer an explanation as to why the governing party was investigating its political opponent, which is, of course, you know, classic. Uh, banana republic stuff and as you say the russia collusion stuff was baked into the pie uh back in 2016 it isn't going anywhere so they've now added this new wrinkle to it which is that they were fearful uh that trump as the big loser would not accept the result of the election uh, in fact, I think this is nonsense. Uh, they weren't worried about Trump losing. They were worried about him winning. But the point is they're trying to construct a narrative that explains why uh, the ruling party were investigating the opposition. But I wonder, I mean, what would that have looked like? Republics. So, I mean, how yeah. radical would Trump have gotten if he had lost? Would he have, say, written a book blaming everyone else but himself for his loss? Would he traveled the country <laughs> for two years giving speeches again? And calling everyone who was against him a racist and calling the country stupid, yes. would he have gone that far? Yeah. Yes, I think he'd have uh, uh, worn ill-fitting uh, pantsuits and gone on a tour of uh, Montreal, Toronto, and Oxford University, because that's what the... Uh, the that's uh, that's what losing candidates seem to do. In fact, the, you know, the people who do complain about losing the election are Democrats. If you recall, in 2000, uh, Al Gore, late at night, called up uh, George W. Bush and said he was asking for a recount. And Bush said, uh, you mean you're uh, retracting your concession? And Al Gore famously replied, there's no need to get snippy. Uh, Democrats are the ones uh, who have actually... Uh, contested the results of the election. Um, there's not a lot of evidence that Donald Trump was doing that. Uh, he was just having a joke, as is his want. And what's actually disturbing exactly. to me, because this is another sign of totalitarian societies, is when Trump makes an obvious joke like, hey, hey, Vladimir Putin, if you're watching, maybe you could uh, cough up those emails of Hillary's you've got. When he makes an obvious joke, uh, intelligence agencies then say, oh, we need to investigate Trump's joke. That's actually what they did behind the Iron Curtain, yes. and it's a bit disturbing that it's now happening on this side of the Iron Curtain. Whatever they're accusing you of doing is exactly what they're mm. doing themselves. I mean, that, that turns out to be the it's, one true rule about their behavior. Yeah. Mark Stein, it's always great to see you. Thank you for explaining that. Thanks a lot, Tucker. Oh, final exam up ahead. Can you